Thank you very much, Pastor, for having me in your show. Uh, my name is Dr. Valeria Caesar, and I believe today we are going to talk about a discovery that was made here in South Africa for people living with HIV and AIDS. Um, Pastor, I would like to say much about this traditional medicine that I have discovered throughout the years because um, the initial discovery was done in 1997 where we, myself and the late Dr. Rhino, we were researching a traditional medicine that can actually be able to help and combat the HIV virus within the community. As we saw, uh, the rate of people that were getting infected at that particular time. With my profession as a traditional healer, it gave me an ability to actually um, go around different places, meet different people, where we actually managed to come up uh, across a medication that can help and be able to restore human life and human health. Je crois que la deuxième question, nous voulons plus de précision. Vous savez, beaucoup de gens souffrent du sida, non seulement en Afrique du Sud, mais dans tous les coins du monde entier. Alors, maman, êtes-vous capable, êtes-vous à mesure, par vos médicaments, de guérir le sida? Thank you, Reverend, for asking that question. Um, the medication, it doesn't really cure. At the moment, we do not have a cure. But we believe that this medication is able to harmonize the virus because already once the virus is inside the cell, it's difficult to kill it or to eliminate the virus itself. But what we have found in our theory using this medication is that this medication is able to convert the thinking of the virus in a simple terms to allow the virus to actually live in harmony with the cell and allowing the body to actually benefit from that. And with the use of this natural medicine, as it has also been proven psychically, macrobiotics, which are foods and, and produces that come from the ground, when they come together with viruses, they can actually turn into close friends that can once and for all immune the body. So that is what led us into actually Re researching this particular medicine and wanting to find out if people can actually benefit from using it once they are positive so that the virus doesn't actually spread around the body, it is contained and it's able to work hand in hand with the cell. Instead of trying to kill the virus, we are harmonizing the virus to work with the cell and allow the body to live. Okay, Mama, uh, je crois que ce que vous dites, uh, les gens ont vous entendez, ils ont compris. Alors, je voulais savoir, depuis que vous avez déjà fait votre expérience des médicaments qui, qui assistent les gens qui ont le sida, ou qui soulagent, ou qui calment, combien de personnes avez-vous déjà guéri Combien de personnes Combien de personnes avez-vous déjà Pastor, I have come across quite a number of people. I cannot say it's a large number because we haven't put the medication in public. Uh, a few number of people that have come across me from 1997 when we discovered the medication, up until this day, they are still alive. And those who are using ARVs, they are still alive, much healthier than those who are not actually uh, using ARVs and not have taken that particular medicine. And some of them, they are not even using ARVs at the moment since they've actually taken that medication up till to date. Since that their immune system is capable of actually fighting for itself and uh, defending itself against opportunistic diseases. Although we are not promoting saying that people mustn't use the ARV treatment, not at all. But what we feel is that this medication is actually a, a, a missing puzzle within the ARV itself. Because if this particular medication can be able to contain the virus, then I think it will give an ARV treatment and much better opportunity to actually do the kind of work it's supposed to be doing. Yeah, we want to know about the price uh, for this medicament. Because, uh, many people, they are the rich, and other people, the poor, what? <laughs> they can uh, take this medicine. It's wonderful. Pastor, I have knocked in every door in my country. I have gone from the universities, I've gone to 
the provincial health department, I've even met my president, President Jacob Zuma, concerning this medication because I wanted us to test this medicine. The main aim before the medication can be dispensed to people, we need to test it and see what this medication is capable of doing because I believe that it can do actually more than that, not only on HIV, but I believe that this medication can actually help to restore any illness in the immune system. And if that is the case, um, we are looking into doing bigger trials where we can actually invite people, have them to try this medication, see the results, and once the results are out there, then possibly make it public for everybody because I believe that all the mothers of, of, of Africa, all the fathers, the children, the husbands, everybody's dying from the disease. So the ancestors and God himself, they've given us an opportunity to have this plant that grows fortunately everywhere in South Africa so that we are able to heal from it and use this very same plant for everybody to access. I would be very happy if people from the ground who can't afford up until the rich one be able to get it because everybody, we are all humans and we all deserve the same treatment. Ok, merci maman. Je crois que les gens sont vraiment intéressés. Euh, many people they are interested. I'm so sorry because I'm French man. I don't speak nicely English. Il y a beaucoup de gens sont vraiment intéressés. Alors comment ils peuvent vous voir Comment ils peuvent vous voir, vous atteindre Comment votre adresse et puis euh, euh, vos coordonnées Parce que pour le moment, we are not going to be able to sell the medicine. Our wish as Mrs. Clinic is to actually put the medicine on trial. That's the first thing. The reason for us to come here to your show is that we are requesting for all Africans to come forward. I'm requesting to all my brothers and sisters out there, all the fathers and mothers who are out there, everybody who's affected and infected, all you businessmen, all you doctors, all you people workers, security guards, everybody who is an African and who believes that this medicine belongs to us, come forward. Donations are needed so that we can be able to do these trials. And these trials will be done and the results will be given publicly for everybody to be able to see what the results are. So that the whole of Africa can benefit from this medicine as Mother Nature has given it to us freely and abundantly. And I believe that the reason that he, she has given us such a plant is to restore people's lives. I don't really think, Pastor, it is all about money. I think it is about restoring people's lives. So we need people, businessmen, companies, come forward. Invest your money. Let us do the trials. Once the trials have succeeded, let people get the medicine, Pastor, because the medicine belongs to the people. Okay, merci. Je crois que maman et maman, avant de donner le mot de la fin, euh, les gens qui viennent de vous découvrir pour la première fois, en dehors de, du sida, qu'est-ce que vous traitez encore En dehors du sida, qu'est-ce que vous traitez encore Pastor, I think we have made a very big discovery with this medicine. I don't think this medicine is only going to treat people with HIV. HIV will be one of the elements, but I believe we have come across a medication that can actually change the whole immune system of a human being and allow the body to live longer, healthier and stronger. And in that case, maybe the medicine in future can also be tested on patients with cancer. We can also test it with patients with malaria. We can also test it with any patients with immune disorders. So I believe we have actually found a remedy that the world needs, a remedy that will help people to sustain because everything is changing in our environment, Pastor. The air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink, everything that we are doing now, Pastor, is weakening our immune system. So I believe very much that we have found a medication that will help bring a new immune system, possibly changing the, the way, the DNA of the cell that we have at present, so that our body the environment is providing it us at the moment because people are dying also from food people are dying from the water people are dying from everything else that is out there because the immune system cannot sustain it so we believe that we have found something that can actually help to cause the change ok 
qui était ce madame, alors avez-vous euh, les conseils à prodiguer à tous ceux qui nous suivent Parce que je crois que cette émission s'est vue aux États-Unis, au Canada, en Europe, hein, dans toute l'Afrique, non seulement euh, ici en Afrique du Sud, mais dans tous les points de l'artistique, les conseils à prodiguer à tant qu'ils mettent Pasteur, the main aim now, what we need, who is interested in coming and become one of the donors to this project and this initiative. We will be taking bookings and uh, people can come through for that day, then we will be able to elaborate further about this medication, our discovery, our findings, why we believe that this medication needs to be tested. And the donation of those people will be put into good use, Pastor, because we need that money to be able to research this medicine further and be able to prove to the world that this medicine does actually work and it's safe for people to use. Anybody who is interested all over the world, we will be having places for people who are coming down from different countries. They are welcome. Come in, come and help. We need your help. Our people need your help. Businessmen, Africans, don't sit down on your hands. This is your time. Come forward. Let us take what we have and see how we can save our future generation. Where everybody who would like to be a sponsor or a donator is invited to come forward and then we can be able to take this matter forward and see if we cannot come up with the positive things as, an, as Africans and as proud as we are because even in ancient times, Reverend, our people used traditional medicines to heal themselves. We can still do that now. Africans. Stand up and unite. This is our chance for our children, for our future, for our continent. Peter has come into our country, our homes, our villages, our cities, our towns. We cannot walk, we cannot sit, we cannot eat without hearing about it. But I believe that this medicine has been purposely placed in this continent for us to be able to restore our health.